Lady Spring and the Easter Rabbit Everywhere in the garden the grass was shriveled and brown, and the buds were closed on the bushes and trees, and the flowers hid their heads. When Grandmother Winter bid her farewell, Lady Spring came into the land. Her dress was the most delicate of spring greens, and her lace petticoat was a delicate pink. Her hair was wavy and thin and strong as spider web and as sparkling as fairy dust. Her voice was so beautiful that the birds would stop their song to listen to her. Her singing was like clear bells and laughing water. She didn't so much walk as she floated on the earth. Every step she took, the brown grass sprang up green. When she stopped to touch the buds on the bushes and trees, the leaves would burst open, green and thriving on their branches. The flowers loved her so that some would open as she came near. Others waited for her to bend to the earth and kiss them open. Then the petals would open in purple or yellow or orange or pink, showing proudly their color. Lady Spring had come early that year, and she had walked through all of the gardens, parks, and play yards in the land. But then, Grandmother Winter, thinking she had forgotten something, came back into the land, and when she did, a great snowstorm covered all the new leaves and grasses and flowers with snow. The birds hid in their nests for warmth, and the squirrels hid. But there was one small bird who had frozen in the snow and had not made it to its nest. It had flown into a tree and hurt its wing, and now shivering in the snow, its wings were frozen. When Lady Spring made her rounds once more, thawing the snow and turning the ice to water to nourish the roots of the trees, she found the little bird, wings useless, nearly dead. The lady took pity on it, held it in her hand, and cast a life-giving spell. When she opened her hands, there the little bird was no longer a half-frozen bird, but a healthy little rabbit. The rabbit was so happy to be alive and grateful to Lady Spring for making her well, but as she looked up to the sky, she remembered having wings and knew that now she could no longer fly. She could no longer lay eggs. She was no longer a bird. Two big tears rolled down her fuzzy face. Lady Spring said, Alas, what has been done cannot be undone, but as a gift, on one eve and one day of every year, on the eve and the day of Easter, you will fly like a bird and lay eggs for the children of the earth. The rest of the year, the little rabbit wished to live on the moon, safe from the fox and safe from the cold snows of winter. And if you look up into the glowing face of the moon, you can see her still.